So conversion.ai is a tool that claims it can create content for you using artificial intelligence. So this is its website. And as you can see, you can use Jarvis, uh, which is its AI to create pretty much any sort of written content. So what I'm going to do in this video is go through how conversion.ai works and give you uh, a quick demo so you can actually see how it works in real time and also just give you my general thoughts on this software and on this tool and let you know if I think it's worth the investment or not. Now, funny enough, as I was about to start writing the script for this video, I thought to myself, what am I doing writing a script to this video when I could just use this tool to write the script for me? And then that way I could actually show you a real life example of how it would work and how you can use it to create content. So when you log in to the tool, you'll get a bunch of different templates that you can use and what you can tailor this AI tool to create content for. So you can see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you've got things like uh, you know blog posts, uh, topic ideas, you've got the blog post outline, you can do an intro paragraph and create stories. Um, it can simplify things as well. You can create your Facebook ad headlines and add text, your Google ads, uh, pretty much almost anything to do with written content, as I mentioned. So the best way to get started, I would recommend, is just go to Long Form Assistant because this is what you're really going to need to use if you want to create any sort of written content, whether that's a blog or an email or a video script or whatever it is that you're looking to do. So that's what we're gonna be mainly focusing on. And this will give you a good idea of what everything else will be like as well. But let's just focus on here for now because this is the main thing that most people uh, will be using if they're going to be using this tool. So let's click on this long form assistant. And then the first thing you wanna do is start typing and describe the type of content that you're going to create. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've just finished writing a short description of what is it that I want to talk about in this article. Uh, so obviously, the more descriptive you make this, the better, uh, supposedly, the AI will be able to create the content for you, although there is a 600 character limit. So I haven't even used half of that right now, but I just wanted to put a little bit of text just to give you an idea of what you can do and to just start going through how it all works. For keywords, you can also add some optional keywords that you would like to rank for on Google. They've got a little description about how that actually works in more detail. Uh, or you can just leave them blank if you don't really care too much about that. In this example, since this is going to be sort of like a video script, not just an article, and I'm not really too bothered about keywords in an article anyway for SEO reasons, I'm just going to leave it as it is and click continue. The next step is to choose a title. So you can start typing in a title of your uh, blog post or video script or whatever it is or whatever type of content that you're working on, you can start typing that in here or you can just click on generate ideas. And I really like the fact that you can just click on a button and get ideas because one of the biggest problems with creating content is just coming up with good ideas with what to talk about. So let's just click on generate ideas and see what Jarvis comes up with. So you can see they've got a bunch of uh, content that they've created that they would suggest that you use. So let me just give these a quick read and then see which one I would prefer to use. So I think all of these are potentially pretty good to use. They, they sound good. Uh, maybe they need a few tweaks here and there, so they're not perfect. But the one I actually had in mind to use was a little bit different to these. So I'm actually going to take the one that I drafted up, which was this one. Um, so let me click on generate more ideas just to see if anything else comes up that will be more related to this one. I think this one is pretty good as well. Um, so there's quite a few good ones in here that could potentially work well. For now, I'm just going to stick with this one, but I might change it in the future um, if, I, if I think something else will work better later on. So for now, let me just use uh, this one. And then for the intro paragraph, again, you can create your own one or you can click on generate ideas and it will do that for you. Okay, so it's just created uh, three potential ideas for what we can use for the intro paragraph. So let me give these a quick read and see which one I prefer to use. Okay, so I think all three of these are actually pretty good. Uh, again, you can see how um, impressive the tool actually is in just creating content almost instantly for you um, for things that otherwise you might be racking your brain around what to actually put in here. So especially if you're struggling with coming up for, with ideas for yourself, this can be a great shortcut to, to do that. So I think any of these could potentially be, be good, um, but I'm just going to use the first one just as an example. Um, just to get started uh, because I think that one was my my favorite. So now that we've done all of these steps, uh, the setup is complete as it says here, 
and we will go through the editor and we'll start creating the rest of the article or the rest of the video script, just depending on how you want to use it. So here we have the introduction. We've got the title at the top here and the title here and the content description. We can always change any of this at any point in the future as well if we wanted to. Now, so far it's pretty good and it's pretty impressive in terms of what you can do. Um, now, just so you know, this isn't my first time using the tool. I've, I've created some other content in the past, so I'm a little bit more familiar with how it actually works. And so far, like I said, it's, it's pretty impressive with what it's done without you really having to do any work. Now, the only issue comes next, which is to do with creating the rest of the content. And it's not so much of a huge issue, but I just wanted to let you know that this tool doesn't currently create the whole thing for you uh, from scratch, like it, it just, you know, it won't create everything for you instantly. You have to kind of guide it in the right direction. So right now, this blue compose button, uh, I can actually click on it right here. So if we click on that, it's going to create the next sentence. So let's see what happens after that. And as you can see, it's created some more text. So what you have to do next is read the text and then make changes uh, to what you see so that you can get it to write the rest of the article for you pretty well. So this doesn't really make sense to me, so I'm going to delete that. But this bit, you know, I'm going to leave it in there because this, you know, sounds good. I'll be honest, I was skeptical when I first heard the idea for conversion.ai, but it turned out better than expected. The program does take some time to learn. And then this is where you have to keep writing because right now you can't click on compose it won't start writing it for you. You have to keep pointing it in the right direction so that it can continue to write. Now, there are some tricks online where people kind of, you know, delete the last sentence here and then just type it in themselves. For example, where it says the program does take some time to learn, I could delete that and then put the program does take some time to learn. And you can see it's already updated it as uh, blue now. So now I can click on compose again. So that's a little trick which you can do if you don't want to come up with your own content and point it in the right direction. So if I click on compose again, you'll see it's going to carry on writing. And then again, what you have to do is read what it's written and just see if it makes sense. So let's see if it makes sense. The program does take some time to learn, but it's not unreasonable to say that the payoff is worth it. The application does require a bit of user input, so you can't just hit go and expect your blog post to be ready for publishing. But if you put in some work up front, Conversion AI will produce high quality content with minimal effort on your part. And again, so far, the article sounds good. You know, I think it's um, working out quite well. Now, I could again delete this and type it in manually and then click on compose again. But if you keep doing this again and again, it doesn't really go anywhere. There's only so far that you can take that. So what I found works better is if you actually give it the outline and you either create this yourself or you actually use this tool itself to create the outline for you and then just fill in the blanks. So the good thing is that you can also use this tool to create the outline for you. So if you go here, power mode, uh, there's an option here to create uh, the outline. So let's do a blog post outline. And so let's click on that. Uh, and then we just got to copy and paste the title. So let me just copy this title, paste it in there. You can choose the tone of voice. I'm going to be uh, doing just casual and then click on generate AI content and it's going to create an outline for you here. So let's see what it comes up with. So you can see the outline is created here, which is number one, what is conversion AI? How does it work? The pricing, why should you use conversion AI? Uh, a demo video of how to set up a campaign in just three minutes and uh, fre frequently asked questions about conversion rates, email marketing, etc. cetera. Um, this is a pretty decent outline. Obviously it's not perfect. There's things that I would definitely change in here. Um, like frequently asked questions about conversion rates, email marketing and all that. Uh, I would probably just put frequently asked questions like this. Uh, so we've got, let's see again, what is conversion AI? How does it work? The pricing, why should you use conversion AI? Uh, a demo video of how to set up a campaign. Um, so instead of doing a demo video of how to set up a campaign, I mean, you could do this, but I'm going to do demo video of how it works. And what I could do is on my blog is I could actually have this video that I'm recording right now, this YouTube video, I could put that here on number five where it says the demo video of how it works. Um, and actually, I just realized there's two FAQs, so I'm just going to do FAQs as the sixth thing. So here is an outline. So let me copy that. Uh, well, I can click on copy like that. And let me close this. And then what I can do is paste it in here. And that gives me an outline. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is uh, just focus on one step at a time. 
so let's go with what is conversion.ai. So let's click on compose and let's see what it comes up with for this step here. Okay, so it's got a description about what is conversion.ai. Now, this isn't true because this isn't a free application, it's a paid application. So obviously that needs to be corrected, but it still helps fill out some of the uh, blanks in terms of what you would put when you're describing what conversion AI is. So now that it's done the first point, we can now do the next point, which is how does it work? So let's copy that and paste that in here. So for anything to do with how does it work, I like to do step by step. So let's do step one you enter keywords. Actually, I can see I can click on compose. Let me just see if that comes up with the content for me. Okay, so it's created another version of what you could put in here. So step one, do this. Step two, uh, enter keywords in a few sentences to generate content. Um, I guess that's sort of true, although I will probably change that a little bit. Step two, edit the generated text in Word or your preferred writing program. Um, yep, I guess that is what you would have to do. You would have to edit the text. You can't just use it as it is. Um, because it does make uh, mistakes. And then step three is pretty straightforward. You just copy and paste it into your website or wherever it is that you're going to be using it. Um, so I think so far that's good. So that, that works. So we've got um, the second head headline. So I'm actually gonna put these into headlines like this. So you can see we're already um, almost halfway through uh, creating the blog post. Now, I'm not going to go through the rest of these steps because I think by now you get a rough idea of how it actually works. And that's all I really wanted to do in this video, which is give you a little demo of how it actually works. So I think the main things to take away with this tool is that overall it is pretty good. I've used other artificial intelligence content creation tools before, and this is by far the best one that I've ever seen, uh, but it's definitely not perfect and uh, it's not one of those tools where you just click on a button and it will create the whole blog post for you that would be amazing if it could but it doesn't you still need to number one point it in the right direction and number two even as it says here you need to edit the generated text and fix mistakes uh, so at this stage once you've finished creating the rest of the content by following the structure here and using Jarvis to create the content for you or at least help you come up with some of the content ideas, you would need to go back and read everything and then edit it and make sure everything makes sense. So for example, here where it says this is a free application, it's not a free application. You could put this is a paid application. Uh, so you just wanna correct things and just make sure everything makes sense. Uh, you could do this is a paid application with a free trial. That would make sense because they do have a free trial if you wanna check it out. But the point is you have to go back, edit the text and make sure that everything sounds good before you do it. So do I think conversion.ai is worth it? So I think if you are someone that struggles with coming up with your own content and a lot of the time your mind goes blank and you just have no idea what to say, this is a really good tool to help you fill in those blanks and help you get content on the page, which is one of the biggest problems with creating content. And this could be any type of content from written content to video content to whatever content that you're creating. Sometimes it's hard just to actually come up with what to say. And for that, I think it's very good to help you uh, get going in the right direction. However, if you're looking for a tool that does everything for you, which would basically replace someone that you would pay to create content, I don't think the tool is quite there yet. I think that's the direction that they want to go in and that they're moving in. And I can see the potential definitely with doing that, but I don't think it's there yet as of right now, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. So I would recommend using it if you need it to help you with creating content, but don't rely on this tool to create content completely for you. It will still require some work on your end. So this is a quick demo of conversion.ai and I just thought I'd go through how it all works. If you wanna check it out for yourself, they do offer a free trial. I'll include a link below this video in the description so you can check it out if you're interested in getting a trial and then just trying it out for yourself and see what you think of the tool. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.